On September 19, 2003, the Mary Woodard Lasker Award for Public Service was bestowed on Christopher Reeve for his perceptive, sustained, and heroic advocacy for medical research in general and victims of disability in particular. Mr. Reeve offers his comments on winning this award. The, the Lasker Award is one of the highest honors in the country. For the scientists who are awarded, uh, it's known as America's Nobel Prize. In fact, I think some uh, 66 awardees over the years have gone on to win Nobel Prizes. But the public service part of it is really uh, probably e equally as prestigious. And uh, um, I, I am very grateful for being honored for uh, um, public advocacy, public service. Um, and as I've, I've said before, this is a uh, you know, real motivation to be even more of a thorn in the side of scientists than I have been before. Mary Lasker herself was that way. She was always saying, why, why can't we do more? Why can't we do it more rapidly? Why can't we you know, really help patients and get to get to clinical work? Uh, so I I, I, I had the privilege of knowing Mary Lasker uh, in, this, in the 70s, and uh, to receive this award or now is, 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 is really fantastic. I believe that there should be a federal policy, which um, has actually been adopted in California which uh, allows scientists there to conduct research on stem cells derived from any source. Uh, the, the federal government has, has not passed uh, that kind of a law. In fact, there is no public policy. Um, and, and I hope that that will change. After I was injured in May of 1995, the next five months were all about survival, uh, literally um, staying alive and uh, uh, trying to uh, stop the breakdown of various systems in my body. But by November, December of, of 1995, I was ready to uh, look to the outside world. and. Uh, I really owe the beginnings of my activism to Dr. Wise Young, um, who is a, the director of a clinical uh, uh, research facility at Rutgers University today. Uh, he came to visit me at, at Kessler Rehab Center in uh, New Jersey and said, you know, you have a, an important role to play, and we started discussion from there. When I was an actor, uh, I was actually president of a group called the Creative Coalition, uh, and we advocated for more funding for the National Endowment for the Arts and uh, for, for the environment. And uh, so, in fact, I did testify a number of times uh, on the Hill. Uh, perhaps the most important year was 1990, when uh, uh, Jesse Helms and, and his associates wanted to uh, uh, actually vote the National Endowment of the, for the Arts out of existence. And we were, well, we were helpful in, in saving NEA, and uh, um, I, I think that was probably the most uh, uh, dramatic example of actually being able to make, make a difference. And uh, my political, ad or my advocacy career has gone on from there. So what I did was, you know, I, I had not been involved in healthcare before, but I, I with, with the experience I had gained before the accident, uh, simply shifted roles in, into uh, being a patient advocate. My message to young people about finding a political passion and getting involved is, is so necessary because um, the way the political system works right now, it's so full of compromises. 
Compromise is caused by, by, by money, by, by special interest groups. Uh, politicians can't vote their conscience very often because you know, they're waiting to get reelected. So what young people can do is, is speak up for, for, what, uh, for what's right, um, to really learn about the issues. First of all, you've got to educate yourself. Because if you don't know what's going on, then you can't do anything to help anybody. So first is to learn the issues, know the issues, become fired up about it, and then make a real, real demand of your elected officials to, to, to stand up and, 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 and vote their conscience. Um, this, you know, the politicians need a safety net, and the safety net is in numbers. You know, so when there's a grassroots movement, which can be started by young people, in fact, people of all ages, then, then they're forced to respond, and then we can get things done. Last question. My goals for the future are to uh, um, ensure the, the health and welfare of my family, um, to progress as far as I can, uh, in my own recovery, and also to help people who um, aren't, aren't getting the rehabilitation or medical services that, that they need. Uh, my job is to speak up for people who are never going to be heard. Uh, and I'm in a unique position as a patient advocate with access to the media and also to the scientists and to politicians to, to try to be at the intersection of those groups um, to, to move the field forward. And uh, I truly believe that nothing is impossible, uh, that um, with the brain power we have in this country and with uh, the resources we have in this country, we can really harness, harness that, that potential and change a lot of lives. There are millions and millions of people are suffering now who that we can really finally actually do something for them. And uh, so my, my job in the future is to, is to do the best I can to make it happen.